so in this lecture we are going to discuss about uh, polynomial rings so let us uh, write what is a polynomial ring so i'm writing it by r square bracket x okay it is the set of all polynomials px which is of the which are of the form a naught plus a1 x plus a n x power n okay such that these ais are the coefficients that are coming in this polynomial these ais are elements of a ring r okay so what is an example if i take r x so what is this this is a set of all polynomials with which coefficients with real coefficients okay suppose i take cx what is cx this is the set of all polynomials with which coefficients which com with complex coefficients okay for example uh, the polynomial if, if i write a polynomial here so i write 2 plus i plus 3 plus 5 i x square and so on so such polynomials are with what complex coefficients uh, some something new for uh, this thing is suppose i write z3x what is the meaning of z3x means it is a all polynomials which will have coefficients of z3 so suppose i write 2 bar plus 1 bar x plus 2 bar x square i can write even a cubic polynomial so 2 bar x cube plus uh, x bar x square plus 2 bar okay and so on suppose i try to write a polynomial which is having matrices coefficients as matrices so let me write m2 r x what is the meaning of this means it is a collection of all polynomials in matrices so a matrix a plus matrix bx plus say some cx square and so on so even this can uh, this also can be thought of what is an example if i try to write a polynomial so suppose i write one two three one plus the matrix uh, 2 3 4 7 x plus matrix 3 7 minus 1 2 x square and so on the degree can be anything i am showing you just just one example of this okay so these all types of things these are called what these are called polynomial rings so in this uh, in this section or in this particular course we are going to focus on three types of polynomial rings basically we are going to focus on polynomials on, on z which is integer coefficients then we will also pay attention on polynomials with rational coefficients and we are going to pay attention to polynomials which are having coefficients in zp okay zp is a field all of you know this note here that z is not field okay but uh, q and r both q and zp both are fields and we will uh, understand the difference between the three rings okay so let me take one simple problem okay if i am taking a polynomial suppose i take a polynomial fx is equal to 4x minus 5 and a polynomial g which is equal to 2x square minus 4x plus 5 and these polynomials i am considering as polynomials in which set i am considering them in z8x so what are the coefficients these coefficients 4 5 all these are elements of what they are elements of z8 so what is f plus g when i add these two polynomials i'm going to get 4x minus 5 plus 2x square minus 4x plus five okay i'm going to do it as usual you know, whatever usual addition you do i'm going to do it in the same way so this will be give me four x with the minus four x will get cancelled so this will go away and what am i left with and this minus five and plus five will also get cancelled okay so what will i get as i will just get what 2x square so it is uh, fine what is but what is f multiplied by g now this is this is very amusing so if i write 4x minus 5 into 2x square minus 4x plus 5 when i multiply them what will i get i will get a 8x square then i will get minus 16x then plus 20x minus 10x square 
प्लस ट्वेंटी एक्स एंड माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव ओके नाउ वी रिमेम्बर रिमेम्बर दैट वी आर वर्किंग इन वॉट वी आर वर्किंग इन जेड एट सो आई एम गोइंग टू रिड्यूस इट ऑल मॉड्यूलो एट ओके सो मॉड्यूलो एट दिस विल बिकम जीरो मॉड्यूलो एट सिक्सटीन ऑल्सो बिकम जीरो मॉड्यूलो एट ट्वेंटी एक्स बिकम्स फोर एक्स एंड माइनस टेन माइनस इज आई एम कीपिंग एज इट इज माइनस एंड टेन विल बिकम मॉड्यूलो एट विल बिकम टू एक्स स्क्वेयर एंड ट्वेंटी विल बिकम अगेन फोर एक्स एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव मॉड्यूलो एट विल बिकम वन ओके सो दिस सो द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज एक्चुअली माइनस टू एक्स स्क्वेयर plus again 4x and 4x will become modulo 8 that will become 0 and it will become just become what minus 1 okay so this means that the multiplication uh, have you observed that multiplication is not the usual multiplication now note some important observations over here okay so what you observed is that in the above example what was degree of the polynomial f the degree of polynomial f was 1 because f was actually a polynomial which is a linear polynomial and what is degree of gx the degree of gx is 2 right because it's a quadratic polynomial so degree of g is 2 and what is degree of f into g so when we multiply two polynomials it is expected that the degree of f and degree of g must uh, uh, must must give you the degree of product of the polynomial but it is the here we have observed that it is not equal because what is the degree of fg what was the degree of the polynomial fg fg came up to be again a quadratic polynomial so degree of fg here is 2 and degree of f is 1 and degree of g is 2 so this addition is not equal so you have to be very careful about this result that degree of f into g need not be equal to the degree of f in, uh, plus degree of g if you are working in a general polynomial ring okay If I take f x is equal to suppose two x plus three and g x is equal to what six x plus five. Okay, and here if you observe what is uh, what is degree of f? Degree of f is one and degree of g is also one. Right. If you add the two polynomials, what will happen? The uh, the addition will become eight x plus eight. and that becomes what that becomes zero modulo eight right and therefore this means that f plus g is actually what f plus g is a zero polynomial and what is the degree of zero polynomial we have not defined any any, any degree for zero polynomial so degree of f plus g is not defined but degree of f and degree of g that is how much that is one and one so degree of f plus degree of g will be two okay so we have to even here also usually what we observe is that when you are working with polynomials with real coefficients what happens is that if you are if you are finding the degree of f plus g what is the degree of f plus g it is not equal to degree of f plus degree of g in the case of uh, addition okay it is actually what it is a maximum of the degree of f and degree of g correct what is an example for that i hope you understand that if i take f fx to be 2x square plus 3 and if i take gx to be x cube plus 5 okay and m these are polynomials with real coefficients so i'm considering them in suppose rx okay what is f plus g f plus g is nothing but x cube plus 2x square plus 8 so what is the degree of f plus g here degree of f plus g is 3 which is the maximum of what the degree of first polynomial the degree of first polynomial is 2 and degree of the second polynomial is what 3 so in the case of addition we actually expect this and in the case of multiplication we expect the addition of the degree so you have to be careful in polynomial rings related to the degrees okay whatever we expect in the polynomials uh, with uh, in rx those results need not hold true if you are not careful of taking which ring to be used while forming the polynomials okay now let us uh, find one uh, find the zeros of some simple polynomials so let me write a polynomial suppose i take a polynomial fx is equal to x square plus 1 and i'm considering this polynomial in uh, z2x okay then uh, what are the elements of z z2 the elements of z2 are 0 bar and 1 bar if i substitute x equal to 0 bar in this polynomial i am going to get 0 bar square plus 1 which is 1 bar 
which is not equal to zero and if i put x equal to one bar then what is what will happen p of one bar will be equal to one bar square plus one bar which is two bar and in z2 it will become zero so this means that the polynomial x square plus one has how many roots has one root who is that root that root is x equal to one in the ring in the ring z2 x okay but if you consider the same polynomial x square plus one in complex you know, with complex coefficients if i consider that these are complex coefficients so i am i'm going to allow x to become complex and then we know that x square plus one equal to zero has two roots that is x is equal to what plus minus i so the same polynomial x square plus one in this ring has two roots and the same polynomial x square plus one in z2 x has how many roots it has one root if i consider the same polynomial in the ring rx what will happen in rx we know that this square this polynomial x square plus one equal to zero in rx has uh, has actually no real roots right so has no real roots so see uh, it is uh, it is giving us three things that x square plus one equal to uh, this polynomial in uh, z2x has one root in complex in cx it has two roots and in rx it has no room so you have to be careful with that also in this polynomial rings section so with this the introduction of polynomial rings is over we will continue with some interesting properties in the next lecture